Okay. Hello. I'm going to be playing on a server today. This was the main server that I'll be playing on. I'll be playing with EC Slum M, who doesn't have a YouTube channel. And later I may be playing with Mr. Boomy37, but he's not on right now. He's playing survival games on a different server. So let's just join it. And here we are. We've already started a little bit of a base. But we only have some of the most basic resources. We have some coal and iron, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, we have two chests instead of a double chest. I need to get this place organized, but this is just a temporary base. Do we have any old wooden tools? Should I smelt this iron with the wooden sword? Nah. What's going on down here? Oh no, I think e Storm is on the surface. What should I call him? I think I'll just call him Storm for short. Oh, there he is. He's, yeah, C Storm M. That's his name. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Oh. Yeah. This is something I'll need to explain later. Recording. So yeah. This is our little house. It's just a temporary base. Later, we're planning on building a village and each of us will have our own house in it. Uh, Mr. Boomy37 came up with that idea. Make some torches. I don't have a pickaxe on me. Are there any pickaxes in the chest or do we need to craft one? Yeah, I should move this furnace. No food. These don't look good. I can even matter. It's just a temporary base. Yes. I want foods. Darn. Oh. Uh, rotten flesh. Ugh. Oh, hey, they didn't poison me. Lucky. <laughs> Lol, sticks. <laughs> Smell the stuff with sticks. Just throw everything in the chest. And go mining. So, while I'm mining, I guess it'd be a good time to talk about that big explosion hole. Well, when I joined this server, Easy Storm M. He's the owner of the server. Let's see how low I am. Not low enough. And he was in creative mode and he had spawn items to create a base, but I had disapproved, basically, yeah. I didn't like him doing that, so he blew up the base. Well that was shorter than I thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah. We don't really have a shirt mine yet, we were just digging, and then we randomly found coal and iron. Just digging random tunnels. Ugh! That's how we found our- that's how we found coal. We found it randomly like this. Apparently, East Storm M is right next to- Storm is right next to me. Ah. Gucci clipping. Yeah. So I found another cave, like, right at the proper height for mining diamonds. 
So yes, you should explore it. Ooh, mushroom. Yeah, the server is uneasy, if you're wondering. At least I think it is. It, he may have changed it to normal. Uproot all the mushrooms. Pick all the mushrooms. Mushrooms are for mushroom stew. Not for lying around in caves. Yeah, some, usually when I go caving, I'll light up the whole cave and then I'll go back for the resources after. I don't believe in leaving behind resources. I always want to get a resource if I see it and I can easily access it. I hate it when the people just skip ores because they don't think they need them. Because you might need them later. I've seen people skip coal because they don't think they need it and then later they need coal. And they don't have it because they didn't mine it. Oh, I don't have a sword on me. I should have brought that sword. Considering that I just went into a cave. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. I don't even think we made an iron pickaxe yet. Yeah. Hopefully Mr. 37 will be joining soon. Yeah, coal veins are always so big. Not on the surface, but the ones deep underground, they're massive. Oh. Don't dig straight down. The golden rule of Minecraft. This is a lot of coal. Well, I'm coal for days. Yeah, we need to find a good place for the village. The best place would probably be a plains biome, because plains biomes are flat, and we don't have to like cut down a bunch of trees or anything to make the village. The only problem with a plains biome is the grass color isn't the best. Like, the best grass color would be the jungle, but if we were going to do that, we might as well make an underground village. It's really hard to build in the jungle. <laughs> some coal here. Oh yeah, another thing I hate doing is just throwing an item on the ground and letting it despawn. I'd rather make a trip back to my base to, to drop off the items I have instead of wasting items. Yeah, this is a small little cave. Where's the staircase? Oh no, I'm lost. How did we get in here? There should be a staircase. Whatever, I'll find a way out later. Actually, I think we got in somewhere near layer 16. Oh! A spawner! Oh my god. A spawner! Yay! I always like spawners. I like to turn them into mob farms. But this may not be near where our base is. It just depends on the biome. Get the moss stone. I always get moss stones from dungeons because there's no other way of getting them and they're rare. So yeah, I always try to get it all because it sure it may not be useful but I like the way it looks. Oh. No torches. No sword. <laughs> Trade. Oh! That zombie went through the lava to get to me. He's right through the wall. this game is. It's named to have it so close. Yeah, this isn't exactly the best server. Sometimes it can be laggy. Zombies. Sorry 
about that. I wasn't paying attention at the time. Oh, the torch. Yeah, I don't. I haven't bought. I am using a quote-unquote trial version of Bandicam, and I have to start and stop the recording every ten minutes, or else it gets cut off. Oh, this is not a good situation. Zombies need to die. Die, zombies! Die, die, die! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I am dead. Good thing I stepped in the bed. Oh, you're dead too. Now we can figure out where the entrance is, at least. I think it's this way. Down the staircase. And then it goes to the side. Oh, yeah, here. This way. It's the double staircase. So, there's a big... So, there's a cobblestone staircase in that Storm must have made. Ooh, Monkey Slazuli, as I like to pronounce it. I know everyone has their own pronunciation of that. Some people call it lupus, lapis, lapis. My pronunciation is Lapis Lazuli. Because if it gets to 10 minutes and I don't stop the recording, then I have to do a bit more editing when it comes to syncing the audio up. Because then I'm recording the audio with a separate program. We can make some weapons and tools with our abundance of sticks. Well, I mean, well, we don't really have an abundance of sticks, actually. I was looking at the coal and I thought that was number six. Speak a sword and a pickaxe and then torches for the rest. Actually, I should make an iron pickaxe in case we come across something that needs that. Which, by the way, you don't need an iron pickaxe to mine Lapis Lazuli. Just an interesting fact. So yeah, 32 torches, that should be good. Down the stairs. Yeah, the way I normally keep my inventory organized would be on the first slot is weapon, pickaxe, torches, and here. Actually, I think I keep my iron pickaxe on four. Then five is a map. Nine would be a bow. Eight would be arrows. And seven and six are any other blocks or anything that I have on me. I normally use stone pickaxes because stone is renewable, but I'm prob I'm planning on making an iron golem farm sometime. Not on this world, on my single player world. And we'll probably end up using iron on this one, but I don't like using diamond as my main pickaxe because not only is diamond rare and hard to get, but it's also non-renewable. I'd rather use my diamond for stuff like jukeboxes or mining obsidian. I think this is the biggest type of dungeon. Yeah, this is a 7x7. Seven seven. See, this is where I made the iron pickaxe. Redstone takes an iron to mine. Some people think it takes diamond, but it just takes iron. Redstone, you will be mine. I will make you into something awesome. Ooh. Redstone in the chest. Aw, I was hoping there would be music discs. Yeah, I, I like to listen to music discs in Minecraft. Oh. Yeah, I never break spawners. I always light them up, because who knows if they'd ever be useful. You never know. Mine all the moss stone. Yeah, there's moss stone under the walls. You have to mine away. Around the edges, you should always mine away the floor like that. I wouldn't have seen it if I didn't mine the normal cobblestone to see if there was one there or not. You just want to make sure you mine away the entire edge, just in case there's one behind. Like, see that? I would have missed that. Because there wasn't one next to it. How much moss stone did we get? In multiplayer, it's always hard to tell how many resources you get. Oh. Huh, how convenient. You made the rest. 63. Wow, this is a big dungeon. 
Eh, iron sword. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to. Is this a this is a zombie spawner, so I can make this into a rare drop grinder and get their iron ingots and iron swords from them. What are wolves killing them all? Because when a wolf kills them all, I forget it gives you experience. I wonder if it gives you rare drops. Mr. Me37 doesn't think it does, but I'm not sure. Yeah. 63 moss stone. Oh, that's going to bug me so much. How we didn't get 64 moss stone. Break the chest. Why not? I just think dungeon chests were indestructible because the first chest I ever tried to mine was a dungeon chest. And when you break a chest, it doesn't show the cracking animation. And I stopped breaking it before it was done breaking, so that was indestructible. Oh, if you haven't seen my skin, well, yeah, it's very random. <laughs> If you're hearing that lightning, it's not real life, it's Mr. Boomy37. He is in the same room as me. Oh great, I lost the exit again. Look for a cobblestone staircase. Darn, poison. Strain my hunger super rapidly by sprinting. Oh, I thought that was a zombie. It's potion effect bubbles from the potion. Because I have particles on all. Why don't the F3 menu open? It's a bad habit. When I play, I like to have the F3 menu open so I can see. Store the moss stone in the chest. Redstone coal. Store the chest in the chest. Chest section. When you're fighting spiders, I hear you're supposed to get the low ground, but that doesn't need to work right. Ooh, spider eyes. Spider eyes are actually better than melons. They have they have this restore the same hunger, but they give you more saturation, which is basically an invisible hunger meter that has to drain before it starts draining your hunger meter. Die slimes. Yeah, the swamp is it's gonna have slimes spawn in swamps now. It makes sticky pistons easier. Oh, it's a big slime. Die slime. Die. Die! 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 All this slime shall die! I didn't need food. Check the progress of the wheat farm. Eh. Not much. There should be enough slime balls for now. I wonder what's in this cave. Who did? It's just dead end. Let's take these dirt rocks and fill that. Oh, if I had known that, I would have made this be our temporary base. I'm just going to make it be our temporary base anyway. Extension. Extend the base into this cave. Even though it's just a temporary base. Oh, I keep 
forgetting about the recording time limit thing. Yeah, I probably should set up a timer that will tell me when the time limit's up. Yeah, so I think right up here is the farm. Because I see sand, and the farm is by water. Oh yeah, right there. Eh. Sweet, yeah. Connect the cave to the wheat farm. That way we can farm wheat at night. Well, that won't work. That won't work. Oh, I ran out of cobblestone. Back to the base. The temporary base. Oh, let's take the full stack. build a little shelter around the farm so it's safe at night. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of new to YouTube and I'm not used to commentating. Sometimes I'll just draw a blank. Uh, that lightning is getting annoying. I don't know if you guys hear it, but I sure do. Now we can get to the farm from underground. Oh, dang it. Whoops. Forgot to light up the inside. And I just uprooted most of our crops. Oops. We say it drops seeds. Yeah, little farm. Safe from monsters. Access via cave. Yeah, so I think I should try and find a good place for the village. This, this is, uh, I don't think a swamp biome is ideal. We don't want slime spawning all over our village. Oh yeah, the enchanted books from the dungeon. Punch one and unbreaking two. That's the part where we got. Ooh, eggs. That's gonna be useful. Is there any food in here? Mmm, bread. We should make a little cocoa bean farm. Except we don't have any solid wood. Ooh, can make golden apple one. Sure, gold is pretty much pointless. Okay, do we have- oh, two brown, two red. And bulbs. I guess I can make mushroom stew then. <laughs> mushroom stew. Put the rest back in the chest. Oh wow, we have a lot of brown mushrooms. Oh, spider eyes. Yeah, this chest isn't organized at all. One is, uh, one is, one is actually almost pointless. So, let's find a place for the base. 
I should actually bring food with me. Bring those spider eyes. Spider eyes are actually a better food than rotten flesh. Because spider eyes can't kill you. So they're not a bad food source. Look at all these saplings. I think someone's been cutting down the trees. Not gonna say any names. Not that no one else is on, but is storm right now. I don't know where B Boomy is. He isn't, still isn't on. Sugar cane. Ooh, a brown sheet. That's the second rarest color. The rarest is a pink sheet. And, yeah, only white, black, gray, and dark gray and pink spawn naturally. Oh, and brown, of course. But you already know that. Ooh, cow. Uh, every time I hear a cow now, I'm going to be like, Cow, where is it? I want cow. I was playing on another server before, and you had to go, like, 800 blocks to find the nearest cow and lure it all the way home without a creeper blowing it up. And we needed cows for leather. Yeah, not fun. So I'm just collecting some flowers so we can decorate our village. The flowers are pretty. Flower. Oh, do cows make that same walking noise as sheep? I didn't realize that before, like that hoof noise. This server is very laggy. Yeah, I just need to look for a plains biome. Where could a plains biome be? Actually, I think I passed one on the way to this house, because if you see, look at our coordinates, Z is over 750. That's because we went pretty far on the Z. I'm on. Or was it the X that we went? I don't know. When I find the base, I'll know. There's the brown sheep. So the base must be this way. Yep. So yeah, we went far on the Z. Spawn. I think there's a that we crossed uh plains biome at some point. At on the way to the temporary base location. Yeah. Well, I know there was a big desert. That was like, most of the journey was in a desert. Oh, there's a desert temple out here somewhere I saw on the way. But I didn't loot it, because I didn't have a pickaxe. Which, I do have a pickaxe now. Let's see if I can find it, or if I have to check the coordinates. Because I wrote the coordinates down for it. I think it's off to the left. Yeah, spawn. There's a... I, the bonus chest spawned at spawn, but we can't use it because it's... You, apparently you can't interact with chests in spawn range. Well, actually, it might not be a bonus chest. It didn't have torches around it, but it was, like, elevated. It could have been placed there. Oh, no, don't suffocate me. Bad sand. Dissolve. Of course you don't dissolve. I'm too fast. No, the server's too laggy. That's the problem. <laughs> Mind this coal. Good sandstone. Not sand. Oh, it's sun is setting. Yeah, on the way here, I think there's an- Ooh, Mr. Roommate 37's 